Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about until activity in ADF and Synapse Analytics pipelines. This until activity comes under the control flow under the data factory documentation here by Microsoft. And the until activity it uh, states that this activity provides the same functionality that a do until looping structure provides in programming languages and it executes a set of activities in a loop until the condition associated with the activity that is the until activity it evaluates to true if an inner activity fails the, in, the until activity does not stop you can specify a timeout value for the until activity okay so this is important whatever activities are defined inside the until activity will be executed in loop until the condition which is specified in the until activity evaluates to true and if the inner activity fails it will not stop the until activity you can specify a timeout for that we have a timeout to configure in the until activity so here if we go further down they have given the demonstration on how we should use until activity through the ADF portal which we'll see shortly and if we go down they have given the JSON syntax for the until activity the configuration here and the type properties here in the configuration we have to give the name the type of the until activity then comes the expression expression that must evaluate to true and false it has to be boolean then the timeout the do until loop times out after the specified time here and the time is given in this format that is day hour minutes and seconds the default value is set to seven days maximum to 90 okay this we'll see when we configure then the activities set of activities that executed until the expression evaluates to true now if we go down here is example one the example one is using until and wait activity so since we have not covered wait activity yet in the playlist we'll go to the example two and the example two states that the pipeline in this sample copies the data from an input folder to an output folder in a loop okay it will keep on copying the data from the input folder to the output folder the loop it terminates when the value for the repeat parameter is set to false or it times out after one minute so that loop we should terminate when the repeat parameter that is the pipeline parameter we have to define as repeat which is which if it is set to false or if it times out after one minute that loop should stop so this is the use case which we are going to demonstrate in this video so here they have given the json we will try to implement this using the portal so let's first define the parameters that is the pipeline parameters for the input path and the output path that is the file which we have which has to be copied from the input folder to the output folder and the repeat pipeline parameter which if sets to false the loop will terminate so let's go to the portal and here we'll go to the auto tab and start creating a new pipeline so the pipeline let's name it as until demo one and we'll take the until activity until activity also comes under the iteration and conditionals so it is the last activity present here with the name until we'll take this in the pipeline canvas and now the activity is in the canvas will move to the empty space here so that we can add the parameter here and we'll click on plus new to add the file so here we'll write input file then output then repeat parameter so the three parameters are defined here and now we'll go to the until activity we'll leave the general tab as is we'll go to the settings and in the settings we have to give the expression that is expression of the until activity the value must evaluate to true or false so here in the expression we we'll click on add dynamic content and we'll select the parameter repeat okay if this repeat parameter is set to false the loop should terminate so we have to give the condition here so in order to give the condition to check if that this repeat parameter turns to false we have to use the function 
So the function which is to be used here is equals comes under the logical functions. It returns true if two values are equal. So we'll write here, right after the at the rate sign equals function. We'll enclose the pipeline parameter repeat here. So the pipeline parameter repeat will be the first value and the second value we have to give it as false, right? So if this parameter is false, then come out of the loop. We will now click OK. So this is Boolean expression. Next is the timeout. Here, maximum amount of time an activity can run is denoted by this timeout. Default is 12 hours and the maximum amount of time allowed is 7 days. If we go back to the official documentation, maximum value is 90 days and default is 7. So there is a mismatch in the documentation. Probably they have to update it here. So we'll set the timeout. The default is 12 hours and we have to set as per the example 2. The example 2 says that it should time out after 1 minute. And if we go above, the minute is denoted by this mm. That is the second most zero value from the right. So here we'll remove 12 hours and here we'll add 0, 1. That is 1 minute. So the timeout is set to 1 minute. And now we'll go inside the activities of the until in the third tab and we'll create activity so click on edit and here we are inside the pipeline until until activity block and we'll perform a copy operation because in the example it is said that we have to copy data from an input folder to the output folder in a loop okay so this is the copy data activity now we'll connect to the source in the second tab that is the source tab and connect to the source data set so let me first show you the file which you have to copy from the input folder to the output folder let's go back here so this is cloud knowledge into containers and inside the container we have a test input container inside this test input container if we go inside the input files folder here we have three files so from this folder we will copy one of the files so we'll browse up to this folder location and parameterize the file name so we'll go back here, connect to the data set, which is inside the storage into account as a delimited text. We'll name it as until demo one input. The link service already present. So we'll select that and file path will browse to the folder location. It's inside the test input folder, inside the input files folder as one of the files. So we'll select up to the folder level. We'll click OK. First row has header import schema none and we'll click OK. So here we have selected the source data set. Now we'll click on open. And here we'll define the file. We'll define the file path file name. Why we need to define the file name? Because copy data activity accepts the file name, the file which has to be copied, not up to the folder level. So the copy data activity will fail if we try to validate this it will give us error the first and the third error is for the sync and the second error states that the file path or data set until demo one input that is the data set is a folder wildcard file name is required so here we'll change the file path type to wildcard file name and we'll go to the until demo one data set and define a parameter for the input files so let's define data set parameter as file name We'll go back to the connection tab of the data set and here in the file path we'll add the dynamic content that is the file name parameters. That is the file name of the data set parameter which we have to find. We'll click OK. We'll go back to the pipeline and here in the source data set we'll find the value from the data set parameter here coming from the pipeline and from the pipeline the input file parameter is input file pipeline parameters input file. We'll click OK and in the wildcard file path also here it's the folder then the folder path and the file name so the file name we have to define here to add the dynamic content coming from the pipeline parameter is the input file so the source setting is done we'll go back to the sync now we'll go to the sync and in the sync first go to the storage account we will copy the file to the test output folder in the folder one. So let's first clear the folder 
will delete the file which is present here and now the folder is empty so we'll take the file inside the test output folder in folder 1 so let's go back here and connect to the data set storage gen 2 delimited text we'll name it as until demo 1 output link service we already have we'll select that file path will blow will blow will browse to the file location test output folder and let's say we want to parameterize the folder location then we'll leave it up to this level first row as header import schema none we'll click ok we'll go to the sync data set and here the direct and here for the directory we'll define a parameter so let's define it as output location go back to the connection and here in the file path add the dynamic content select the dataset parameter let's go back to the pipeline and here also add the dynamic content which is coming from the pipeline parameter as output click ok now the setting at the sync level is also done we'll go back to the main pipeline which is having the until activity so now we can see under the activities that we have set the copy data activity to copy the file from the input location that is this test input that is from the test input folder one of the files to the output folder we'll go to the data factory and try to validate the pipeline so the pipeline is validated let's click on debug and here upon clicking debug it will ask us the parameter value so let's give the input file name the input file name let's say we want to copy the students.csv file from the test input folder so we'll give here the students file students.csv file here then the output folder we have to define we want to copy it to f1 so we'll give here the f1 location and the repeat parameter value so we have defined at the activity level that if it is set to false the loop will come out so let's see so here let's not give false we'll first try to give it true so that the copy activity will run in loop so we have given the repeat parameter as true so let's wait here and the execution started let's click on refresh So both until 1 and copy data 1 are in progress. Let's click on refresh again. And we can see that the until is in progress and the first instance of the copy data 1 is completed. That is the file from the input location students.csv is copied to the output folder. So let's go to the output location f1 folder. And here we can see that the students.csv file is copied and here we can note down the modified time here that is 11.42.57 am if we go back here we can see another instance of the copy data 1 and third instance already in queued status so the inside activity that is the copy data activity defined inside the until is keep on executing because the condition mentioned in the until activity is not satisfied and this loop will continue to execute until either the parameter should set to false that is the repeat parameter or the timeout which is mentioned here is true so we'll wait here and the until activity has crossed the duration of one minute which we have defined here in the timeout so now the until activity is timed out we can see the status timed out and the copy data activity will stop and if we go back to the test output folder and we see here 11.42 was the time if we click on refresh the time has changed to 11.43 that is the copy operation it kept on occurring so this is the function of until activity it keeps on performing the task or the activities which are defined inside it until the condition which is mentioned in the until activity is met so let's now try to debug this pipeline again 
and we'll take this time the input file as dupesinput.csv and the output folder will take as f1 only and the repeat value we will give this time as false that is the condition should meet we'll click ok and wait for the execution to start so the execution started let's click on refresh so the until succeeded and the copy data activity also succeeded if we go to the output location and click on refresh the dupes input csv is copied and and since in the until expression it was given that the repeat parameter that is the pipeline parameter is set to false then just come out of the loop so that's why it has performed the copy data operation and has come out of the loop so this is how we have demonstrated the example to mention here in the standard documentation i hope you've got the basic understanding of until activity in adf thank you for watching the video do let me know if you have any queries and comments have a great day happy learning bye